Alright guys, so here we are at the other episode of MotoGP 20 Career Mode and we're here at the Thai GP for qualifying, we were quickest in FP3 uh, straight into Q2, so yeah, let's see where we can place ourselves Alright, hard breaking into the final turn perfectly done and onto the line we go, let's see what oh my god, that's a full second quicker than I was in FP3 all right, let's see what we placed ourselves. That's the end of the second and oh, wow. last qualifying well, session, and we can finally see you guys in the race. The All right, guys, so welcome to the race. Let's see what we can do. Come on, and away we go. Oh my God, Masia got the lightning star as well, and Fanaki. Can we stick it in the slipstream? Come on. To see who can send one down the inside into turn three, and that is costing me a lot of fuel. Jesus, okay. We can't stick it down the inside of Fanati, but he tries to hang around the outside. Come on, which is not gonna work. So we are back into P2. All right, but I can hear him. Oh my god, please stick behind me. Alright, so we have the draft of Macias, which gives us the edge over Fanati. Managing to hold on for, to P2 for now. And Ahura went down. thinking about going down the inside but I was just a little bit too far behind so I had to back off but let's see if we can close the gap back down because that was that silly attempt at an overtake it seems we're a little bit stronger into the final turn so that's the good Oh, that's a car in the cut. Yep. I really need to watch my lines and stop doing that kind of stuff. That Honda is just a little bit stronger on the straights. Come on. Let's tuck it in the slipstream. See if we can close the gap back down. Okay, it just pulls away a little bit in the slipstream. A little bit too deep as well. Come on. Still has a little bit of an edge over us, so Alright, the gap is back down to four tenths. We gain one tenth on us that level game. Okay. Oh, we're right with him in the slipstream, but he's just edging away a little bit again. Oh, not so much this time. Okay, come on. Oh my god, he's breaking really early. Ooh. But that me means we're right with him right now, so that's good. If I can be a little bit closer in the next lap, then we could send one down the inside in turn 3. 
So let's try and stick with him. And a little bit of mistake through here, but... I have to be closer through... Oh my god, that's a little bit too wide. I have to close the gap in this sector so that I can send one down the inside in turn 3. And that's a mistake from me, sending us wide. Who's behind me? Antonelli, okay. So we managed to close the gap back down. Oh my god, we're three hundredths of a second quicker than Masia, so it's really close right now. And that was a mistake, come on. Yeah, just a little bit too far ahead again. That was a good run. And now let's try to stick with him through the rest of the lap. Oh, a little bit wide. Come on. That was way better through there. All right. We're right with him, come on. This is what we need, come on. Will I send it? Into the final turn we go, down the inside. And we managed to make a stick as well. So into the penultimate lap we go back into the lead. But Masia will get a run on us, so... Lucky not to get a corner cut there, but... I think he will send one down the inside of us into turn 3, so... Let's see if we can prepare for a switchback. Or maybe he won't even attack us. No, he won't. We are later on the brakes on him, which is nice. Can we manage to break a little bit loose from him as well? bit too wide through there we have seven tenths of uh, seven yeah seven tenths of a gap that's nice come on Oh my god, I missed my breaking point. I completely missed my breaking point. Oh no. That's put Masia right back in contention for the win as well. Damn it. And Antoinette is right there as well. Okay, so that will be a final lap shootout between the three of us. Can we break later? Yes, we can. And we're still in the lead. I 
a little bit of a gap, so what was Antonelli doing? <laughs> Alright, come on, final stretch. I did not see what the split said, but I think we are safe, at least for now, yeah. Come on, almost there. Fanati and Minho are fighting for P4. Or oh, P5, oh, a little bit of a mistake by me. Oh, they're really close now, I can hear them. Will they send one down the inside or into the final turn? I don't think they. Oh, he's really closing. Oh my god, I fucked it. <laughs> final turn. I can't believe I did that. That has cost me the win. While the riders yep. complete their victory lap, let's take a look <laughs> at the final ranking of the Moto 3 race. I actually can't believe I did that. I had it and I threw it away at the final turn. Oh my god. Alright. Well, still P2, but. Oh, that's a shame. That's such a shame. Any close gap back down to two points. Otherwise, it would have been. What? He gained five on us, so we would have. Quick maths. Uh, 12, sec 12 point lead? We threw it away, guys. We threw it away. Alright guys, so welcome to the Japanese qualifying session and we went straight into Q2 again from FP3 But we were in second place and we were 0.001 of the lead so that was really really close um, Let's see what we can do in this lap and yeah, let's try to go for that pole position Alright, let's see through the final two turns Ooh. Get off there. Will this be fast enough or do I have to try again? No, I think this should be fast enough. Come on. That's the end of the second and last qualifying Yeah, that's <laughs> really fast. Alright guys, I'll see you in the race. Alright guys, so here we are to start the race, come on. That's a really terrible start. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, that was terrible. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Well, sometimes you have a bad start, right? Come on. Alright, um, so we did upgrade the engine to 86%, I think. So there was one upgrade left. And I put the guys on the research part for that, so... That should be done, but I don't think we have the part on the bike for it before the end of the season, so... Oh, Masia's there as well, so that's good. His teammates leading the race. Ooh, someone went down, that was Lopez. Oh my god, hi. That was really close. And that's us back into P7. Really closing in on Suzuki, come on. I can use this to cement my lead in the championship, so... Because my see Oh my god, hi, what the fuck? What? What's going on? What? Why does my... Con um, my controller is broken? What's what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Um <laughs> What the fuck? That this is weird. Alright guys, so here we are at the second attempt, come on. And this time we do have a good start, so... 
that's uh, fortunate for us. Let's see if we can build on it as well. So what happened with the PlayStation? I have no idea, but it seemed like my control controller for some reason disconnected, but it was still connected, if it makes any sense. But yeah, I tried to grab another controller because I thought this one had died, but that was not the case, so... Yeah, I tried turning it on and off again, but it would connect to my controller, but the controller would not function, so... It's a really weird glitch, I had to wait like 15 minutes and the PSH would connect again, but really weird what happened. So let's just hope it won't happen again, but it has gifted us the lead of the rating, so that was kind of nice, but let's just hope that won't happen again. Because I tested about three controllers and I was like, um, is my PlayStation broken? Like, what's going on? And it took some time to connect as well. So, and the PlayStation would turn on with uh, with the controller if I pressed on the PS button, but afterwards it just wouldn't do anything. So, not really weird, but. Let's just head on with the race and see if we can win this one as well. Clearly, we are in the lead. We got Masia up into fourth already. I think I saw that correctly, right? Yes, that's Masia up into fourth. Okay. Oh, I forgot to change the tires. Oh well. are in the lead into lap 2 with a nice gap. Let's see if we can keep it this way or extend it a little bit. This is for the 6 a.m. video, I think it is, and afterwards there will be the final three races of the season, I think it is. And then we are heading into Moto2, so I'm still kind of debating what I want to do with that, if it want to go 100% or 50%. For now I'm thinking about 50% and then maybe my home race I will do about 100, but yeah, we'll see. What we choose in the end. So yeah, that will mean that the day after tomorrow we'll be starting Mojo 2. Which I have not driven before, so that will be a new experience. Oh poor guy is losing P3 as well, okay. Yeah, it's not catching for that, so that's good for us too. Oh fuck, I was catching us through the final two turns, so... Yeah, it was four tenths quicker than I was, because of that mistake, okay. right behind it as well as try and break away again so that he won't send one down the inside five tenths of a second and we are halfway through the race as well so Oh 
Oh, fuck that's really sticking with us, okay. And we go way to the... Oh. I heard him coming, I thought he was gonna send one. So I had to sit the bike up before he knocked us both off the bike, so... But we managed to stay on. Looks like Messiah is having trouble with the guy behind him. Which I have no idea who that is, but. A little bit of mistake by us. It looks like Suzuki, if I'm seeing that correctly, but. Oh my god, really? I just nipped the grass a little bit. Well, now we have to extend the gap. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice right now, okay. Yeah, with Masiya and Suzuki that are battling for P4 right now. Okay, we have two laps left to go. Well, that is starting to close in on us, so... We're gonna have to fight hard for this win, guys. Four tenths of a second, come on. Oh, Foggy well, made a mistake and that has thrown right into the hands of Fanati, I think it was. Which has given us a nine tenth lead as well, which is exactly what we need, nice. how you can just uh, power out of the turns and it will start slightly a little bit but it won't throw you up really funny like a little bit of drifting on the bike It will say. Come on. Six tenths of a second, alright. So we are doing good right now. We just keep the gap as it is and we should be fine, but that would be difficult. Second. All right, let's go. silly mistake nice and I have very little fuel as well oh my god I did not pay attention to that five tenths of a second so right now we are safe but in the final circuit they are a little bit quicker than me so close it's gonna be really close guys and fuel wise as well 
I think we got it. Yeah, he put out his finger. Yes. Nice. <laughs> With one dance to spare. Alright, that was nice. So, 14 point lead over Masia as well. So that means we're one step close to becoming the world champion of the Moto3 class. Nice. So yeah guys, that will be it for this episode. Um, I thank you all for watching. And yes, I know you can see the negotiations in progress, but I will leave that as a surprise for the final episode to see where we will go. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode, which will be the final season of Moto3. Bye bye.